In this module, we shall establish an important result. Let P be a permutation of a set S. The following relation is an equivalence relation. A is equivalent to B if and only if B equal to P raised to power N A for some N belonging to Z. Here you can see that the permutation P is acting on A N times. To prove this is an equivalence relation, uh, we need to establish reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties. Let's start with establishing reflexive property. A relates to itself, P not A. It implies that A is equivalent to A. Therefore, reflexive property is satisfied. Now we prove the symmetric property. To establish symmetric property, we shall assume A relates to B. And uh, by definition, we shall get B equal to P raised to power N A for some N belonging to Z. And uh, here we are assuming that when uh, the permutation P is acting on A N times, we shall get B uh, as image. As you know that permutation is bijective map and therefore it is invertible. Uh, we have uh, established in previous modules. So we can apply P raised to power minus N on both sides of the equation B equal to P N A. When we apply P raised to power minus N, we shall get A equal to P raised to power minus N B with minus N belongs to set of integers. So we have proved that B is related to A. So symmetric property is satisfied. Now in the next slide we shall prove transitive property. To establish transitive property we shall assume that A relates to B and B relates to C. And by definition, we have B equal to P raised to power N1 A and C equal to P raised to power N2 B. Here P is the permutation and you can see that when permutation P acting on A N1 times, you shall get B as image. And when permutation P acting on B N2 times, we shall get C as permutation for some N1 and N2 in the set of integers. So in this way, we shall get C equal to P N2 P N1 A. As you know that permutation is a function and uh, uh, the composition of two function uh, is uh, 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 taking as from right to left. First P and 1 will act on A and then uh, P and 2 will act on the resulting image. For some N1 and 2 belonging to Z, and we shall obtain C equal to P N2 plus N1 A. Permute, uh, we are first we are taking P acting on A permutation P acting on A N1 times. 
then we are taking p permutation p acting on uh, the image of a p n 1 a n two times and uh, uh, as a whole p would act on a n 1 plus n two times in other words with n 1 and n 2 belonging to set of integers so it implies that a is related to c uh, in this way we have proved that the transitive property is also satisfied and we have established that uh, the relation is an equivalence relation.